All right, we're done with um, tennis. Let's quickly uh, switch attention to golf this morning uh, on the BGA tour. Uh, let's talk about the Genesis Open. Uh, Cecilia, I mean, now that uh, the Tiger is back most of the time, yes. we will be talking about him. Mm -hmm. But of course, he's not the only one involved. Uh, yeah. A lot of the top guys, too, at the Genesis Open. Obviously, especially when he was paired with Rory McIlroy, but it just is, you know, just in the opening uh, round of match at the Genesis Open for him, he had to fight very hard, you know, having an inconsistent performance, you know, trailing the leaders, talking about Tony Fennell and Patrick Catley by six strokes. But Rory McIlroy, you know, enjoying a wonderful one because in his own, he had a very good start, you know, playing alongside uh, Tiger Woods. But if you check the stars that are here, you talked about all the stars, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Justin Thomas, then talk about Jordan Spieth and the big boys that are here. But the thing is, everyone is actually uh, focusing on Tiger Woods yeah. and also Rory McIlroy enjoying the fact that he's playing with Tiger Woods for the first time after a long while. This is a guy he actually watched playing, you know, having the opportunity again to play alongside with him is something really uh, wonderful in this particular Genesis Open. Yeah, I mean, while growing up, he was compared uh, to Tiger a lot. Uh, a lot had been said about whether he was the next Tiger. And now it's, it's a moment to treasure having this man back. Golf has missed him. We all have missed uh, Tiger, even if he's not winning. Just yeah. his presence uh, on, 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 the, um, on the field uh, is, is something to, to treasure. And most guys not even talking about their performance. It's just <laughs> happy to have uh, Woods back. Yeah, play alongside him, especially when he's talked about the fact that with Rory McIlroy, uh, Justin Thomas, and of course, you even have Dustin Johnson that did world number one, yeah. Also, he's also Sorry, there. But Rory McIlroy, of course, talking about how pleased he is, you know, are playing alongside Tiger Woods. Yeah, I mean, I've been a Tiger fan for the last 20 years. Um, so yeah, I mean. I think anyone that's my age, um, and even a little bit older and a little bit younger, you know, was inspired by him because of what he did on the golf course and how he approached the game. He was golf for, for the better part of a decade, if not more. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's cool to have been able to get to know him and call him a friend now, which is pretty cool. We, we play a little bit together down in Florida and live quite close to each other. And meeting him for the first time, and then I remember playing with him for the first time. It's funny because you, you know, I, I remember all the, the big moments that he's had and, uh, you know, you're teeing it up alongside that guy and that was eight, nine years ago. So, you know, I've sort of got used to it by now, but it's still, you know, he's, you know, whenever you get a chance to play alongside one of your heroes, it's, it's always nice. And when you get a chance to play alongside someone you actually adore all your life, I think it's one of the blessings you can really think of. Yeah, Tiger Woods is really aging, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Knowing that, Rory McIlroy actually watching play, the inspiration he got from him, the way he played golf and all. But Tiger Woods wasn't really happy about his performance in the Genesis Open because of the struggles, the consistency during uh, the opening round. Well, it was all right. Uh, I made uh, a few just really silly bogeys out there. Um, in particular, number seven there, I was not very good. Uh, from the middle of fairway, uh, but overall, I, I thought I, I hung in there well. I grinded, um, hit a bad tee shot on 11, and you know the tree kept it. So, you know, I got to uh, two over par early, and you know, fought back to even par, and then you know, lost one there at seven. <laughs> no one's going low out there. You know, it's it's too hard. I mean, the greens are springy. Um, we were talking about coming down the last four, five, six holes that the greens are starting to get poey. You know, a little bouncy and. Uh, those short ones are not easy, uh, so you, it really has, you really have to be patient out there, to be honest with you. Uh, you can make a few birdies here and there, you're going to have some wedges, par fives are reachable now, uh, but overall, you just got to be very patient. Yeah, that's what's for you, were clearly not a happy man, you know, but then I think it's relief, the fact that, okay, was able to just, you know, had to force to lean heavily on his short game, well, because, you know, for a long time, he hasn't really been there. Yeah. Well, it's something to really look forward to. Seeing him playing well again is what we are all happy about. That's yeah, what is important. I'm happy the desire is back. Uh, that, that's what must be said. Um, for every other person, 
they're happy to have Woods back. Yeah. But for, for Tiger himself, it, it's already looking at how he measures up against the big boys, how he measures up against the top guys, the the, the conditions, uh, his overall play, what he's been able to do. Those are the kind of things uh, he's looking at, why some of us are just uh, happy to, to have him back. Um, that's, um, it, it, it might take a while before that competitive edge returns, um, but um, I'm, I'm happy that his body's holding up. I'm happy that he's, he's just hanging in there, using his, his own words. He's hanging in there, he's <laughs> just trying to... Um, you know, just be among that company, you know, hang around the top guys, you know, just be on their shoulder. And maybe later, you know, it might, it might begin to, you know, you know, rank among, you know, top 20, top. But it's good to have him back. It's, it's good uh, to have him uh, play uh, this way. Then uh, for, for those of us who were still hoping uh, that um, Tiger will still be able to win something, I hope it will make us proud um, later on. All right, let's bring you to all that we're doing uh, on the show. We, we've talked about a lot of things already. We've talked about the Swiss maestro Roger Federer, the chance of becoming world number one. After five years, uh, that's the opportunity uh, for, for him. We've also talked about golf. We've talked about Tiger uh, this morning. So uh, this is how you can be a part of what we're doing on the show. Sports this morning at channelcv.com if you want to send us a mail. Get across to us on Facebook, Channel Seven Sports. Then on Twitter, at channels underscore sports. That's how you can get your voice heard across the globe uh, this morning. We're, we're also going to be talking about the Super Falcons, Cecilia hinted earlier. We'll be talking about the Flamingos. We'll also be talking about the Nigeria Professional Football League, what's going down this weekend. Today, um, MFM will take on Aqua United. Uh, we'll talk about it as well. A lot for you uh, on Sports this morning. Don't miss the chance to be a part of everything uh, that we're doing. Don't miss a chance to be a part of this conversation that we're having right here. It gets interesting uh, when you uh, f come in with your views, when you let us know how you feel and, you know, tell us maybe there's something we left out that we should be talking about on the show. We will really appreciate that uh, this morning. All right? So uh, that, that's the bit. You can, you know, tell us uh, how you feel about some of those issues. Um, we should be going to uh, Korea, though, you know, we can't say much before we go on break, uh, but... I mean, 2018, uh, yeah. winter games, a lot of interesting things happening right there, too. Yeah, very, very well. But I think today I'm waiting for the history. I've been talking about Sumidele Adeogbo. She will be competing at about 12.15 uh, today. I mean, this after the Nigerian time. So she will be in action, and we expect it to just hold, and, hold our breath and see what's going to happen, having a, a, a very first heat. And from there, what? we'll see what's going to happen, especially in the skeleton category. She's making history the first... African women to qualify for that champion. So we'll just wait and see for that event. We'll just wait and see what's going to happen in the hits when she takes the track later today. <laughs> 